Many of you comment about really toxic cleaning products and you always ask if there are any DIY alternatives. Well you guys, you're coming to the right place. It's me, clearly I have DIY alternatives for you. So this week I'm gonna tell you the five most toxic cleaning products at any given store and I'm gonna show you how to make your own version at home. Just a quick reminder if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like DIY cleaning products. Before we get started, I just wanna go over some of the hazard symbols that you'll see on regular consumer products. Now these are nothing to panic about but a lot of us don't know what they mean and especially when we're talking about toxic products Products, I just thought this would be an important thing to cover off. This is the explosive symbol and it means that the container is explosive. So if the container is heated or punctured, it can cause metal or plastic to go flying. This is particularly worrisome, especially when it comes to eye injuries. This is the corrosive symbol and it means that if a product gets on your skin or in your eyes, it can burn on contact or if you ingest it and it gets in your stomach or your throat, it can also cause burns going down. This means that a product is flammable, so the product itself or its vapor can catch fire if it's near heat or sparks. And this means that a product is toxic, so any exposure to the product, whether it's eating, drinking, licking, or sometimes even smelling the product can cause illness or even death. Drain cleaners are one of those products that many of us have under the kitchen sink, but the next time you reach for it, think twice. They're really corrosive. Many of them contain ingredients like bleach and sodium hydroxide, which can be really bad for your skin or your eyes. If it gets on them, it can cause permanent damage, and if you ingest it, it can be fatal. The good news is there's a great DIY alternative, and here it is. Start by adding one half cup baking soda, one half cup salt, and add one eighth cup cream of tartar. Mix this together in a bowl and start boiling some water. Pour half the mixture down the drain, followed by two cups of boiling water. Wait a few minutes and repeat with the remaining mixture. Toilet bowl cleaners are also highly corrosive, which means they contain ingredients that can be super irritating for your eyes, your skin, and your respiratory system. Who wants to clean a toilet with stuff that's gonna affect you that way? I mean, you're already cleaning a toilet. You don't need something that's gonna make you feel worse. I've been making my own DIY toilet bowl cleaner for years. It works really well, and guess what? My toilet is sparkling. Here it is. One half cup baking soda, one half cup water, a quarter cup hydrogen peroxide, one quarter cup dish soap, and 15 drops of tea tree oil. You'll mix this all together in a bottle, shake it up, and then apply it into the toilet bowl, making sure you get under the rim, and of course, around the bowl. Let it sit for a moment or so, and then give it a good scrub and flush, and you're done. Oven cleaner contains sodium hydroxide. And if you don't know what that is, it's commonly referred to as lye. And if you've ever seen the movie Fight Club, you know what lye can do. It is not pretty. If you haven't seen the movie Fight Club, it's caustic, which means it can cause third degree burns on your skin. So if you're not being responsible and careful with oven cleaner, you can actually do some real damage to yourself. And by the way, if you're not rinsing out your oven properly afterward, that stuff is lingering around when you are cooking dinner. So think about that for a minute. If you want a DIY alternative, I have a great one. It's a recipe that works really, really well, but you gotta use the recipe along with the technique. Obviously, oven cleaner itself is very strong and powerful and effective, but if you don't wanna use that, you've gotta use the recipe plus the technique in order to get your desired results. In a bowl, mix one cup of baking soda, one half cup of white vinegar with four tablespoons of dish soap, and 15 drops of orange essential oil, which is a great degreaser. You're gonna mix this all up and make a heavy paste. You'll apply this to the interior of your oven and let it sit for a while. Then you're gonna take a steel wool pad, ideally a super fine steel wool pad, and start scrubbing the areas of the oven that are really greasy and grimy. Continue to do this, rinse well, and then buff dry.
Degreaser is a product that's used mostly in commercial applications to remove thick layers of grease and grime. So you'll see this in restaurant kitchens a lot. But even in our own kitchens, using a degreaser, you're still using an unnecessarily toxic product when there's a simple DIY recipe that can do the trick. To make your own, here's what you'll need. One half cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of dish soap, and 20 drops of orange essential oil. Mix this together in a bowl and apply it directly to the greasy area. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes or more, depending on how greasy it is. And then scrub it off with a damp sponge and wipe and buff dry. Now remember, this recipe won't store overnight or at all, so only make up the amount that you need. One product you guys ask me about all the time is chlorine bleach. And here's the deal. Chlorine bleach can be dangerous for your body, again, if you ingest it, if you inhale it, or if it gets in any of your mucous membranes, it can cause damage. It can also ruin your clothing by bleaching it. It can ruin fabric if it lands on it or carpet. And if it's mixed with other products, it can create toxic fumes that can kill you. So in my house, we don't use bleach. My laundry looks great and I have other methods of disinfection. And keep in mind that bleach doesn't actually clean anything. Bleach can be used as a disinfectant to kill bacteria, and it can be used as a whitener or a brightener for laundry. And of course, there are plenty of alternatives for both of those. So I have a great DIY bleach recipe that you can give a try. In a container, mix up a quarter cup of lemon juice, one cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide, and three quarters cup of washing soda. Now, you can either apply this to your garment as a paste, as a pre-treater, or you can add water to this and soak your affected garment before you launder it. This isn't something that you would necessarily wanna to add to your washing machine, and while you could use this for a disinfectant, I don't. Now there are lots of bleach recipes online that you can try. This is one that just happens to work for me. Let me be clear, you have to do what's right for you. If you like to go to the store and buy the products that I just talked about, you read the instructions, you feel comfortable and safe using them, then use them, by all means, go ahead. But if you're not comfortable with those chemicals or products in your home, these alternatives will work really well. You need to decide what feels right for you and your family. If you like DIY recipes, then you are going to love my book. You should totally pick it up. I'll put links for it down below. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what is your favorite DIY recipe? Let me know in the comments down below. I've got two other DIY cleaning videos up here, a link to our website over there where you can learn about our books and our cloths and so much more. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.